Good afternoon, this is Sarah, your healthy carnivore in the UK. I'm a bit tired this afternoon and I know that's a consequence of my body thinking it might be starving itself. And before you think, why would that be? It's because I'm fat adapting. I'm going through that awkward stage between my body being a glucose burner and a fat burner. And there's always a bit of tiredness to have to ride out. And so I'm going to be doing a series on fat adaptation. The first one will be a what it's like just being in that fat adapted phase and how to get through it and what the symptoms are and why you're feeling that way. So that's going to be um, episode one of the fat adaptation series. And then later on, there'll be more videos coming up on that. This video, though, is about choices and consequences. Why do I say that? I think in life, we have to make choices and sometimes we have to make very bad, difficult, hard choices. I think in the last five years, we've all had to make some choices that maybe we didn't like to have to make. I'm not going to go into what those choices were, but if you've got a similar mindset to me, you'll probably know what I'm referring to, but I'm not going to go into it any further than that. But choices always have consequences, sometimes amazing sometimes disappointing, sometimes downright scary or difficult. And this morning I was in the shower. I have some of my most interesting thoughts in the shower. And I was thinking, you know, I was just deciding about this journey that I'm now on and how it's going to happen. I was thinking about how I've got choices. And I said, well, I've got no choice but to do it now. And I thought, no, you have got three choices. You have three We've all got three choices when it comes to this lifestyle. Choice number one, giving up entirely and doing absolutely nothing. I'm saying, saying to hell with it. I am not going to try and look after my health or my weight anymore. I'm just going to go and live like everybody else and say, throw in the towel. I'm done with it all. What are the consequences of that? Well, the consequences of, consequences of that do scare me because I really only have to look one stage up the generation tree to see how that's going to work out for me. Um, if you're new to the channel, you may not know that I lost my mum a couple of years ago. If you are not new to the channel, you will know. But she, watching her go through multiple different problems, problem after problem, after operation, after surgery, after medication, to side effect, to eventually her body completely giving up with multiple organ failure in the end at 71. Watching her go through that from the age of 13, <clears throat> excuse me, 13 to, um, um, to 46, I, sometimes you can learn from people what to do and sometimes you can learn from people what not to do. And when I think of not doing this at all, I immediately think of her I think of all the parts that she lost, the body parts, that, you know, the, the thyroid that she had taken out, the, the hysterectomy that she had, the, the hip replacement, the foot thing. Another thing that I keep forgetting to mention and I need to mention is that she did have what she thought was bladder cancer. And I completely forget about that every time I do my videos and I'm going to have to make a note of it somewhere. She had very painful surgery on a lump in her bladder. It actually turned out to be benign, but it was an incredibly painful surgery that took her ages to recover from afterwards. And I don't know how I keep forgetting that. So add that to the list, plus all the medications that come with it, plus the fact that all the medications just drain you and then no energy to do anything. And then the inevitable body collapse that comes later for not doing anything. So option one, choice number one, doing nothing, not not a real choice it's not an option and when you've been in the carnival space as long as I have you just know that's never going to be your option because that is a terrifying choice okay choice number two staying as I am or you know staying as I was on off on off tell me about it on off on off what are the consequences with that well for me number one was being left behind what I mean by being left behind is that obviously I've been in the space for a long time, but not one of the successful ones. So whenever I watch people doing any video at all, new people, 
regular people, people that have been doing it for years, I'm always feeling I'm left behind again. My poor choices and poor judgment um, means I'm left behind again. So you're watching people that get to their first year and their second year and their third year and their fourth year and you're cheering them on going, yes, this is great, well done. And then I'm looking in the mirror thinking, I've been left behind. I've been left behind again. Now, the upside to that is that this will always be an interesting story. And when I am successful, which is now, by the way, I can look back on all my past failures. Not, I don't like to use the word failure. My past misjudgments, my past things where I've not you know not looked after myself properly and all the before and after pictures of things that i've healed i'm even taking before pictures now of things i took a video this morning um of my trying to get up off the floor i'm not going to put that in this i'm going to wait a bit until i can get off the floor easier and then i will share that with you so being left behind that's a consequence that's a, of the choice of staying where i was clothes I've probably mentioned this before, but I don't talk about it too much because I want this channel to be about health rather than vanity. But I love clothes. I love clothes. I'm, I, you know, everyone's got something that they like to spend money on, right? For my husband, it's cars. He wouldn't dream of spending money on clothes. But I love clothes and I have thousands of items of clothing. Um, and I keep having to buy more clothes just so that I'm comfortable. But I've got so many bits and pieces that I dream of wearing and so many things that I would love to buy and then wear. Oh. And I need to, I really feel like I want to do that before I get to 50 or as I turn 50. Because even though it's always impressive to be fit and healthy at any age, I don't want to leave it too much longer. So clothes, clothes, clothes. That's a vanity one. I try to keep it health based, but that is vain. Interviews. In this space, we like to interview each other. It's fun. We love to have chats with people that are thinking the same as us. It makes us feel sane, helps us to feel sane, and it helps build the channels. And then when you build the channels, you get help to more people. But I don't really like being interviewed that much. Even though I'm quite confident as a person, I find myself justifying this and justifying that. And then they'll ask me a question like, oh, so what do you eat in a day? I bet you find you're not very hungry. And I'm like, well, I seem to have found myself permanently in the fat adapting stage. I haven't really quite got to where the magic is yet, but I'm sure I'll get there at some point. And then I start justifying why I haven't. And then people find out I've been in the space for t since 2014, since the days of Charles Washington setting up his group and zeroing on health. And they're like, well, what, what's she doing then? She's not getting anywhere, is she? So that's, that's that, I find that hard. Little health niggles. I don't have anything seriously wrong with me yet, but all the little health niggles that I do have are leading somewhere more dodgy if I don't crack the whip on myself. And obviously not being able to help people, following on from the not wanting to take part in interviews because I'm embarrassed, then I'm not helping people. And I know a lot of people in my social life I know everyone from my old school and my new school and from Zumba. I know so many people and a lot of them would benefit from trying 30 days of doing this. A lot of them would actually be quite surprised and amazed at what could happen to themselves if they did 30 days. But they're never going to do it until I'm successful. So that's, that's a consequence, not being able to help people. Feeling sorry for myself. I don't feel too sorry for myself. I'm a pretty upbeat person. I can normally find an upside in everything. I'm quite a glass half full type person, but um, every now and again, I will just stand there and think, oh, just get a grip on yourself. Just get out of that pity pot you put yourself in and get a move on. Frustration, you know, frustration. That's pretty much the... I couldn't think of anything else off the top of my head. It was just a little list I did of consequences of the choice of staying where I was before. What date? What date did I make my commitment? It was about the 22nd of July. Um, I'm not sure where we are now. Maybe the 13th or 14th of August. Fired up, but I cannot stay where I was. I need to be upgraded. And so the choice, the choice number three is obviously get on with it. What are the consequences? They're, they're far reaching and they're all good. Nothing bad. The only two downsides of the sticking with it is one, I don't get to try all those foods I loved as a child, but Sarah, you're not five anymore. 
you know what they taste like you can probably just imagine it you don't have to actually eat it and um, the other one is the social aspect well I am going to have to withdraw from social aspects around food until I have reached that place in 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 months time where I can just go out with people and just feel sorry for them and think that all the food looks disgusting which will come in time so the consequences that are good though of option three oh it's just far reaching you know I've did them all in a previous video I don't even need to list them we all know what they are feeling better in my clothes looking healthier avoiding stuff keeping all my body parts being able to feel 20 30 years younger and staying feeling like that forever you know or for a long time holding back the years wearing the clothes that I want to do not being left behind getting invited to interviews helping people but I've got to save myself first that's important save yourself first so yeah that's my sort of choices versus consequences rant for myself. The main reason I'm doing it is because partly I thought of it in the shower this morning and partly because I'm a bit tired this afternoon. Um, and I know that's going to come to an end. Uh, I haven't shared my tiredness with my family because they've heard it all before and they don't really want to know. They just want me to be happy and healthy and done. And so that is what I'm going to do. So that's my choices versus consequences. Like I just said at the beginning, um, there will be quite a long series of before or after videos and photos. I'm doing loads of before pictures of anything I can find on my body. Literally taking a picture of anything. My feet, my ankles, my fingers. Anything that I can take a picture of that might look different in six months time or 12 months time, I'm doing it. I've done my video getting up off the floor. Can't wait to do that. I'll probably find some other kind of video. One I do regret though is I did a Zumba event a few months ago and somebody videoed it and my tummy was jiggling around a little bit and I deleted it from my phone and I regret it now because those are the sorts of things we need to keep, not to humiliate ourselves or to you know make ourselves feel bad, but when we've made it in six months, 12 months, 18 months, two years, three years time, we can look back and say, look how far I've come, look how hard I've worked and what I've got from that. That's what it's for. It's not a humiliation exercise. It's a keep it put away somewhere, in a folder somewhere, and bring them out when you're there to say. And that will help more people because if somebody sees the video of me struggling to get up off the, the floor, did I say that properly? When somebody sees me struggling to get off the floor and then they see me jumping around like a little imp or a unicorn or something, they're going to say, oh, wow, I was like that that woman in that video on the left there. Thank you so much for videoing that because that is how I am now and I want to be jumping around like a little, little sprightly little fairy afterwards. You see what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I'm doing that. I'm not doing it to humiliate myself or to embarrass myself. I'm doing it because I want to help people and that's what this all comes down to. So I've spoken too long about this now. I want you to have um, a great remainder of your day whatever you're planning um, be as healthy as you can be as happy as you can and um, eat your meat drink the water and thrive take care guys bye